Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY for baking. Okay, for this one, we're working with polymer clay. It's kind of clay that you bake and hardens. I'm using translucent polymer clay because I usually paint all my pieces after once I bake them. And the brand that I use is Sculpey. And I'm going to be grabbing not too much and I'm just going to roll it into a shape of a snake. Not too thin because then it's going to break when you use it and not too thick. Well, the thickness pretty much depends on you and your personal taste. And yeah, the length as well depends on like your personal taste and how long you want your tool to be. Small tip that I have for you is when you're making this kind of thing, it helps a lot to just grab it and just pretend you're working with already so you can know how long you want it and I'm just taking an exacto knife to cut the excess and I'm going to arrange the edges then I'm going to be using this one of this and on the edge I'm just going to use nail file and I'm just going to pretty much uh, smooth the end the pointy end that they have so that's going to be making my tool if that makes any sense this is just a comparison so you can see what I did there the one below is like a normal one and the one above is like the one that I'm using and what I did so you can see how much I actually removed from that. I'm just going to go ahead and place my needle in there just like pushing it and just try to make it as in the center as I can make it because I want this to be somewhat even and then I'm just going to go ahead and well arrange it as I want it to be pointy ends and all that stuff and then I'm just going to finally bake it according to my package instructions. All brands of polymer clay, their packages, they come with instructions. So once I have done that and this piece is baked, hardened, and it's not hot anymore, I'm just going to take pin out of this pin holder. I do have a DIY of this one if you want to check it out. It's super fun to make. I'm just going to remove the uh, needle that I have in there. It's pretty easy. I'm just going to be taking some pliers and I'm just going to pull it as I um, kind of shake it to one side and the other. And then I'm going to be taking some silver paint. I'm using nail polish because I ran out of acrylic, but I usually prefer to work with acrylic because the drying time is a lot less and it's not smelly. So I'm just going to paint it as silver because I want it to look like one of those really fancy uh, needle tools that they sell, but this one made out of polymer clay and giving this a few coats. Once it's dry, I'm just going to add some gloss because I want it to be super shiny. I'm just going to add a few coats of my gloss. So finally, I'm just going to switch the needle because as you remember from the beginning I was getting this needle ready but I'm just going to glue it for that I'm going to add epoxy glue on that part and then I'm just going to push it until it's ready I'm just going to let it dry and now I have a new needle tool and this is it as far as for the DIY part of this goes if you use realizing this tool will be so handy because you can use it to remove bubbles you can use it to make shapes out of realizing you can create so many beautiful designs go for a few techniques you can create roses out of realizing you can create hearts you can drag your tool around and just make this design it's pretty cool pretty handy uh it's affordable to make out of polymer clay and yeah, i just wanted to share this one because i do diys and i work with realizing and i use this tool all the time so if you liked it don't forget to give me a thumbs up helps a lot don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff don't forget to share it thank you so much for your time and watching i'll talk to you later bye guys